This is a demonstration video of installing a, a PXAMG Gateway Multimedia Interface. Uh, these are going to be general instructions. We're specifically at a 2008 Acura MDX, but what we're going to go over uh, should pretty much be the same in, in all the vehicles, these, these basic steps. The first thing you want to do is go to peripheralelectronics.com, type in your year make model. So in this you put a 2008 Acura MDX and it's going to come up with the available interface solutions and it's going to show you the harness you'll need. This is a PGH HD1. This is the harness that the application guide on our website shows that you need. So the first thing you want to do is gain access to the radio by removing whatever panels you need. Then you want to remove the radio. You want to get to the back of the radio where the SAT tuner plugs in. So you want to take the harness that the application guide says is correct. And basically you want to find the harness that looks like the one you have. In this case it's this guy right here. So the first thing you want to do is install the OEM side into the gateway harness and then you plug it back into the factory radio. At this point you would route the rest of the harness in a, in a location that you'd have room to mount these two boxes. If you're doing HD radio you'll need the tuner. If not, if you're just doing iPod, all you need is that box. Typically if you're going to do HD, you want to mount this somewhere near where the antenna adapter is going to reach. Because you're going to tap into the radio's OEM antenna. In this case, it's this. You're going to need an antenna adapter. And that would go into the HD tuner. And that, 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 so we can use the OEM antenna for HD reception. Now, when you do that, the OEM radio is not going to have an antenna to it. You're now going to be using your AM FM reception through the HD tuner. So, again, you just want to find a nice, rattle-free, heat-free... Uh, uh, location to mount these interfaces. So the first thing you would do is plug it all in, gain access to the back of the radio, and then um, dip switches. The dip switches are the, in the instructions. It's gonna tell you what you need to do with the dip switches. In most cases, you leave them all up, which is off. Uh, the application guide online, the application notes, and the instructions will indicate when a dip switch is needed. First thing you want to do. You're using an HD tuner, and this is before you apply power to the interface, these must be connected. If these are not connected, when the interface first gets power, it will never see this HD tuner. So in this case, we're going to plug it into the AUX2 uh, position on the board. And then we're going to take our iPod cable and plug it into the first position on the board. Now we're going to plug the interface into the harness. Simple all plug and play installation, no wire cutting needed. Then we'll put the radio back in the dash. We're not going to permanently mount it in this situation for this video. We're just going to show you generally how to get started. Give it a second or two and then hit the XM button. In this case, it's already initialized. Go in and out of XM. And there you go. Sometimes it'll say dev in it if you turn the radio on really quickly after you install it. A lot of cases it will just go right into work and there's your iPod, SAT, HD radio, and aux. So you want to go ahead and choose HD radio, go ahead, reset six. And that's a brief demonstration of the installation of the PXAMG and HDRT and a 2008 Acura MDX, but again, these are just general uh, procedures you should follow when installing any gateway in any, any vehicle.